Well, good morning and welcome back. I have here with me Laura and Lucy, part of the engaging team at the Humane Society. Lucy is 10 years old and she's been at the shelter since November and I think that's a crime. Look at her beauty. Yeah, she's a beautiful cat. She's actually really handling this well, so she's a pretty easygoing <laughs> older girl. She isn't sure how she feels about some like like more hyper cats, so she'd probably do better in a home without like Right. Lots of action. Right. She needs a nice quiet home. Pretty easy going older girl you could be describing <laughs> me. <laughs> my my triumphant foray onto <laughs> online dating, yes. Um, hello, hello. So obviously the usual, she's fixed, yep. she's she's got her shot, she's healthy. Yep, she came in fixed. Uh, the, she is a little bit on the robust side as we can see. <laughs> she's. She's a, a mild little bit of a chonk, as we call them. <laughs> chonk. And uh, so she is on a prescription diet from the vet just to help keep her weight down. Okay. And okay. Uh, that, that's about it. So that's something that we would recommend continuing. It's not overly expensive. Aww. And she doesn't eat that much. So it helps keep her healthy, though. And, yeah. And helps keep her a little. She was a little bit heavier when she came in, so it's doing a little bit of its job. Well, right, because when cats get overweight, when animals get overweight, they're prone to several conditions that, oh, you know, right people would also experience. Females experience a lot of like urinary tract issues when they're overweight because okay. they can't properly groom themselves. Right. So unless you're willing to continually groom your cat for them in that area, uh, we recommend trying to keep the weight down, especially oh. with the females. It's it, it's really detrimental to them to be do, overweight. Do we know what happened to her ear? We don't. We don't know anything about Lucy. Lucy was a Aww. stray. Oh, so come on. I know. Mommy. And she's a beautiful, she's like what they call a smoke. She's got that gorgeous yeah. white undercoat. Wow. And she's just, she's chatty and she loves catnip toys. So she still has, <laughs> she has some kitten moments still left in her. She'd make a wonderful addition to a quiet older home. Okay. We just adore her. She's, she chats at us in the morning when we clean and she likes to come out and lay in the window and look at the birds. Well, sure. Get Aww. the occasional zoomies if she gets a good catnip toy. <laughs> <laughs> Aw. All right, well, that's not going to help keep her weight down. Keep her <laughs> off the nip. Keep her off the nip. <laughs> yeah. No, she's a lovely cat. She. Yeah. I was going to bring kittens, actually, but we have quite a few kittens, and but we also have quite a few of these lovely older guys that yes. are looking for their forever home. The chonk. The chonk. Oh, Lord, she a coming. Yeah. Aww. She's not a mega chonk. That's what no. we want to avoid. No. <laughs> she is zesty and robust and would make an excellent addition to a, a quiet home is what I'm hearing. So, um, okay. So the usual process then, you you're still online? Yes. And, and Lucy actually would be a reduced adoption fee because she is considered a senior animal. Okay. I don't ask me the price. I'm not sure off the top of my head. Oh, that's fine. Um, I always include the yeah, Okay. So. Because, but she is a senior animal, so she would be a reduced op, uh, adoption fee for somebody interested. Okay. And yeah, and then somebody, if they are interested, they can fill out the application and come down and meet this lovely lady. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes. Ah, uh, yes. Okay, well, um, this is Lucy. Once again, she's 10 years old. She is ready for her forever home. She uh, is uh, a lovely little kitty and has been very good and gracious about <laughs> articulating and undulating on the desk here while we talk. So. Yeah, she's purring away. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> She seems pretty happy, I'm going to say. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I mean, all right. Okay, well, thank you once again, Laura. And just, just you know, for the purposes of those who, of you who are listening, the um, pet segments will continue. There will still be uh, video opportunities for you to consume these gorgeous animals, um, maybe more than once a week. I don't know. Stay tuned. So.